your online singing coach. Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with the one and only Lucy Thomas with the one and only Martha Thomas. Boy, the requests have been pouring in. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. I never even listened to it on Spotify or anything because I wanted to save it. Just hoping that a video would come out. Here it is. The big question everyone's been talking about is why is it unlisted? I cannot conjecture about that. But thank you to many of you who sent me the link. So it's no problem to find it. Let's get into it right now. was struck by so far in this song. The very first thing that hit me was her beautiful eyes. I don't know, it's just the white color that they're wearing because I noticed it with Martha too right away. Just gosh, their eyes are so vibrant in this video. This is, this is such a treat to hear Lucy in like this purer tone going up into these higher head voice notes that are treated in more of that pure, more classical, way. It's just beautiful. The high note, quitolis, that note, oh, just magic. Let's go back to that moment and we'll continue on to Martha. So beautiful. And then this descending line. Requiem. Oh, it's such a beautiful melody. And I just loved hearing Lucy's voice on it. It seemed like in the second half of her verse here, she started to make it a little bit more Lucy in style. The first few phrases were very pure, pretty um, clean. Uh, in terms of how the notes were coming off the page. They were pretty clean, pretty by the book. But then in the second half, she started to sound more like Lucy's personal style coming into the song. Okay, let's check out Martha's moment. feelings. This was it right here. This duet moment where they were both singing together. Oh, it's like that perfect day of the year where it's like sunny, but not hot and not cold. And there's a little breeze. It's just, it's just like that for me. It's like the best day of the year was that moment just now. 
Martha's solo was beautiful as well. My first observation as soon as she started singing was how her tone is definitely younger sounding than Lucy's tone. Now, I would say that makes sense because she is younger, but her tone is younger. And as I have said before, when they are duetting, they do have different tones, but my goodness, when they sing together, it's a perfect blend. I need to hear this duetting moment again. Before we get into this next high moment, you will notice that uh, they are both adding a substantial amount of vibrato to these ending notes. On you stay. Whereas the more traditional way of singing a piece like this is going to be with those straighter boy choir tones. On you stay is maybe perhaps how you've heard it before or how you would expect to hear it. I think the vibrato happens in both their voices quite naturally as a note is sustained or as you get to the end of the phrase. And while I believe that they are both capable of straightening out the tone if they wanted to, what I do like about it is what I, what I mentioned a few minutes ago, that this sounds like their version of the song. I can recognize that it's Lucy's voice. I can recognize that it's Martha's voice. And I think if they were trying to really just mimic uh, a boy choir tone, they would have lost some of their own vocal thumbprints, the things that make them uniquely them with their singing and particularly with their sung expression. And you I do like how on this one they kept the physical expression very muted, very minimal. It's more about the serene faces and not too not too big on the, the body language because again that just feels more appropriate to this song being a little bit more of a, a formal, liturgical, sacred kind of song. Now one thing that I observed is that this key is much lower than the original key. It sounded very, very comfortable. It sounded easy. It sounded effortless. And I would be curious to hear Lucy up in the original key. I really would love to hear her head voice. My guess is she has some amazing head voice notes that would explode in the same way that her mix voice notes explode in some of these other songs. But that said, it's not like she's trying to have a career as an opera singer. 
so we don't need to hear those notes. But if she does ever give them to us, I'm sure it'll be another trick up her sleeve. For the heavenly sweetness of it, let's just go back to that final bit of the song one more time. After all, I've been waiting a long time for it. so beautiful from Lucy. And you'll notice how she did hold that note straight for a while, then she added the vibrato, and then she came down to the qui M. In the meantime, Martha comes in with that last beautiful sempiternum, and Lucy's just been hanging on to this, no breath, of course. This is a bit of an extended phrase, but of course it's no problem for Lucy. And they end with that beautiful unison note there. Well, it's, it's hard to keep up with Lucy's releases, something else to look forward to. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. And if you have not yet, please be sure to hit subscribe. And if you're not already familiar with my All Lucy Thomas reaction playlist, you can find it right here. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time.